Sarah back with West Lincoln Public Library and another book review for the month of October. So I hope you all have had a lovely Thanksgiving and I will definitely be noting that I ate entirely too much cranberry, but that just means we have time to relax a little bit after a very hearty meal and catch up on some of our fall reading. Uh, I wanted to highlight one of my absolute favorite seasonal reads that there is, something with appeal for both teens and adults with some romance and some very slice of life growing old phases and also it's one of my favorite authors absolutely ever. Uh, for those of you that know the Carry On series as well as Fangirl, uh, today's book is written by Rainbow Rowell and it is a graphic novel called Pumpkin Heads. Now this has a really great cozy autumn harvest fest vibe and it's also a pretty decently quick read, so you don't have to worry if you don't have a lot of time going for you right now, especially since I know a lot of people are off of their reading weeks. Uh, but I love pumpkin heads for a lot of variety of reasons. First of all, uh, our two main characters are uh, Deja and Josiah, or Josie, and they are what they refer to themselves as seasonal best friends. They come together every year since they started high school to work at this really cute fall fair. Uh, this is the book. The book actually opens to show you a layout. Um, for any of you locals around here, you might kind of refer to it as Howell's Pumpkin Farm. Uh, there's a corn maze, there's hay rides, there's fudge, there's, they're in charge of the Suckatash hut, uh, candy apples, everything you might need to get in a really good Halloween vibe. And they come together for the entirety of September all the way to the Hall end of Halloween, and then they say goodbye and they do it all over again the next year. And they both really do share a deep passion and love for working here in this place. But this is going to be their last year together. They're going to graduate, they're going to go on to college, go their separate ways. So they decide on their last Halloween together, they're going to do absolutely everything they can, make the most of it. They're going to see all the rides, they're going to do the corn maze, eat all of their snacks, because usually they're kind of just stuck in the one area, in the Suckatash hut for pretty much two months. Um, this is also Josie's big chance to finally approach and maybe ask out the girl from the fudge shop that he has been crushing on for four years, pretty much. He doesn't even know her actual name, he just calls her the fudge girl. Um, throughout the entirety of the book, which has some absolutely adorable artwork, I love the art style in this series as well, um, the two friends make their way from one end of the uh, Harvest Carnival all the way to the other, hopefully trying to get Josiah back to the fudge shop so that he can actually talk to this girl. And along the way they reminisce, uh, they meet some of their other co-workers, and uh, they also kind of get a bit of an insider into uh, Deja and some of the past people that she's also dated and they're friends with, so you get a little bit of history for both characters. Now, it's also a really sweet romantic story as well because uh, by the end of the book, the two kind of have a bit of a revelation about how they feel towards one another uh, beyond simply friendship and what it's going to mean for the two of them once they actually finish their jobs here and they go off to college and they stop seeing each other. Um, it's got a really sweet sense of growing up and maturing and leaving things behind as well as embracing the new, not only when it comes to your job or your occupation and school, but also how you might see people in your life differently and how that can change for you. As someone that adores fall and I love the cheesy like carnivals and rides and all the fall foods, this book is exactly my aesthetic. I love it so much. The characters, even though you don't necessarily get to know them for too, too long, are really well-rounded and very succinct. Uh, their interactions with not only themselves, but the environment around them really showcase their strengths and I especially love Deja. She is a really well-built, very interesting and fun character. She is extremely loyal to Josie. She goes through and jumps through all of these hoops to try and make sure that he gets back to talk to his fudge girl before the end of the night where they're not gonna see each other anymore. Even though it is hinted that she does like him, she's still going to see his goal through. And for that, I consider it an extremely great fall read. Um, it's not spooky or scary, so if you're looking for something a little more thriller-esque, we'll be able to give you lots of other recommendations. Uh, Pumpkin Heads is definitely a great teen, uh, feel-good fall book, as you can see. I gave it my staff sticker. Um, it is here in the Wallport branch. Please feel free to come and give it a, a check out. 
Uh, I have read it numerous times and it is always a great to sit by the fireplace and just be excited for fall sort of thing. Um, as you know, Rainbow Rowell has a ton of works. We actually have a lot more of her works here in Wellinport as well. So if you enjoy this graphic novel, I highly recommend you check out her Fangirl series. Uh, we have that both in graphic novel as well as print, so it depends on your interest. But if you're st uh, purely sticking with the fall vibes for now, I highly recommend you come and take a look at Pumpkinheads uh, before Halloween. Uh, please come enjoy it. Have a mug of cider, get to the vibe. You will love it. Uh, that's all for me for today. Uh, if you have any other recommendations, feel free to drop a comment for all of our videos. We love to hear what you guys are reading, and I will see you in our next review. Have a great day, everybody. Enjoy Halloween.